about microprocessor that is it is a cpu on chip and there is a perfect way or there is a different way they will be working fine but in order to understand we need to understand yes, something sir. yeah sir recording on kare sir yeah i have already started recording okay sir okay so this particular thing you need to understand that uh, don't take it like a microprocessor don't take it like a microprocessor just imagine a new subject take it like a new subject fine or a new book you are having a new book in your hand how do you propose how do you see it uh, see to it and how do you uh, start reading a new book sir vitna batao just tell me this thing how do you start reading a new book that's it don't think about the microprocessor or technical phenomena nothing just tell me what steps you take kisi bhi naye subject ke koi naye book jab bhi padhte ho is semester mein padhoge aap bahut sare aur padh bhi rahe honge generally how do you start what is your steps batao then i'll give you the actual operation how it is related with the processor stuff tell me what steps do you take jo topic hmm? jo topic pe hota hai index mein usko dekhte hai Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. There are two things you need to understand first. Uh, the first where you watch is the contents table of contents. Index is at the back of the book. Right. So index searching is not sufficient because they provide you topics. Contents matching would be better because you need to check out how much syllabus is available in this particular book. All right. मैं ठीक बोल रहा हूँ ना पहले सिलेबस तो चेक करोगे कितना इसमें है नहीं तो प्रोसेसर की तरह चार चार बुक्स खरीदनी पड़ेंगी ठीक है बट स्टिल दिस इज नॉट द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट हाउ टू बी प्रोसीड टूवर्ड द सब्जेक्ट बुक मिल गई आपको सब्जेक्ट का सिलेबस मैच हो गया अब बताओ क्विक नाउ यू हैव अ बुक इन यू हैंड यू नो दिस it thing belongs to your particular subject how you will start reading bas itna batao bas how do you uh, proceed towards reading a new subject i have already given a hint maine abhi bol diya hai baat baat mein between i have already given you the first phenomena that you are going to do the first thing that you will be doing is is to read the book chapter wise or topic wise or whatever in total what is going to happen is read only thing which is related in the reading part is that uh, you will be having some chapters or page numbers something like this some vector connectivity will be there reading from the chapters or reading from the page numbers only slight modification is this and so first step is your reading fine is that okay first step theek hai is that clear the first step then i'll yes yes sir theek hai na jo thoda sa cooperate karte rahe because uh, now onwards uh, bookish language nahi chalegi we will be having the interactive language theek hai nahi to fir baad mein books pad lena aap log सो पढ़ने के बाद मुझे बताओ व्हेन यू आर रीडिंग द फर्स्ट चैप्टर पढ़ लिया आपने सब समझ लिया पूरी बुक पढ़ ली ठीक है उसके बाद क्या होता है पढ़ने के बाद व्हाट डू यू वांट द नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू बी नो 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 वो बात वो छोड़ दो छोड़ दो छोड़ दो डोंट गो इन दोज पार्ट नोट बनाएंगे आफ्टर एवरीथिंग आफ्टर रीडिंग what do you want that second thing to be done the test karein jo sab ko kiya hai kaise check karoge how do you check question bank ke through ya are nahi 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 don't go in those uh, typical details of your student life no no simply how the ideal ideal student life pehle kya bolte hain pehle padho just read then so we will solve the questions No, 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 no. First, we ha- then we have to understand. Then only you could be able to solve everything. 
पढ़ना और समझना दोनों अलग चीजें होती है ना हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर विद मी हु बिलीव दैट रीडिंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग आर टू डिफरेंट प्रोसेस यस सर दे आर टू डिफरेंट प्रोसेस पहले सिर्फ पढ़ेंगे देन वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग टेक्स टाइम बिकॉज अंडरस्टैंडिंग मे मेक यू रीड द सेम टॉपिक अगेन एंड अगेन there are topics which are tidy which are very shabby poorly written for that we need to read those things again and again in order to understand it clearly so what could be the next step firstly we have to read then we have to understand what is written over there in the book all good then final third step then after reading and then understanding everything now you understand everything every bit and byte and every word of this book after understanding no, now what right right where yes right where right where somebody was speaking something Share, please louder right in the notebook no why do you want to write it in notebook when you, you have already understood What's the point? For for practice, like no practice. no 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 practice. के लिए भी कोई और phenomena है. Once you read, then you understand. Then after understanding this, you need to perform this. Where? In your examination, where your knowledge, your understanding knowledge. will be checked either it is your sessional it is your semester examination whatever it is fine so this is how the three steps i'm just giving you three steps i'm not going in too much detail because that may uh, delude your mind and make you have a different perspective from the subject i'm giving only three particular words read understand and perform sirf in teen words ko yaad rakhna all right now let's compare it with the microprocessor fine so in microprocessor if i have to correlate these three words let's correlate read understand and then perform the processor works in a simple simple way like this processor bhi bilkul aise hi kaam karta hai you just need to understand the way we work the processors are designed so that we can correlate with them the operation how they are working so the first thing is which correlates with reading is fetch all right after fetch the next phenomena which correlates with understanding is what understanding ko correlate karo what could be the word in understanding what we what we try to do in understanding if a processor or a processor like what could be the perfect word the word is array the word is decode fine the next is perform all right in perform if i have to correlate with the microprocessor terminology it is called execute yes 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 execute now you are coming in line fine so this is the analogy i wanted to create so that you guys can correlate with the different phenomena of operational structures of microprocessor this side we are talking about the microprocessor all right and this side we are talking about who a human being how much difference are we having how much difference are we having tell me how much difference are we actually having hardly any difference fine so is it clear always keep three words in your mind three words in your mind always whenever somebody ask you high processor word works this works in three steps fetch 
decode and execute now there is very tricky question i ask you in the viva i will definitely ask you in the viva of laboratory or somewhere in the mock interview if i come if i am sitting somewhere in the mock interview i'm giving you a hint in the beginning what is the difference between read and fetch think technically now now we'll talk technically analogy is over now think technically difference between read and fetch they may seem like in this uh, analogy but there is a big big difference from uh, the operational point of view koi batayega mujhe what is read and uh, what is fetch what kind of difference are we actually looking for okay if you guys are not comfortable with that let's get back to so read is only a control signal understand a control signal which will be generated by the microprocessor it's only a signal somebody something you want to read processor will generate a signal but fetch is something more than read now what is this which is called more than read fine in the case of fetch fetch always comes with an address always keep in mind fetch always comes with an address fetch will never have a statement fetch the data no it will be wrong fetch the data from it will be always having this language or in the case of read if i uh, give you a contradictory statement start reading you may find somewhere in the algorithm written something like this start reading fine but it will never happen in the case of the fetch fetch always comes with an address fetch needs a pointer from where it has to start the process of fetching reading on the contrary side need not to be associated with the pointer okay so fetch ke sath hamesha aapko lagna lagana padega fetch start fetching from page number 10 fine then start reading it could be something like you have to explain it in that way fine so simple answer is reading is just a control signal for some kind of operation reading or writing but fetch associates with reading and along with that reading from where someone has to read or start reading the process from where all right understood yes sir samajh mein aaya read or fetch ka difference fine next step uh, if i uh, tell you if i ask you again what is the meaning of decode koi batayega mujhe decode kya hota hai we know that re, re, this decode corresponds to understanding of something but in microprocessor how decode works see in the decode when we are fetching something in the form of data or instruction Right, that data and instructions will be coming like a uh, an an envelope. It's just like a sealed envelope. Fine. So somebody has to open that envelope and see what is inside. Somebody has to open that envelope, which is coming from the memory, either it is data or an instruction. That person is the decoder. The decoder will open the envelope and it will see what is inside. what is inside is it a data or is it a is it an instruction so it will operate it accordingly fine so decoder is someone who understands or it decodes whatever has been fetched by the fetching cycle okay so decoder is this and execute you know the various processes like alu process when various instructions Uh, operates in a various ways when they completes their task 
this means it is execution all right so this is the basic of a little of the microprocessor operation now if i uh, have to move you towards the programming stuff okay so before we start with the programming part there are few things i need to i need to tell you in the advance the concepts of various uh, basic things in the assembly language programming or well, let's take the reference of 8086 when you will be doing the coding there are two things which are very important fine what are those two things one thing is called op code second thing is called op prime all right you might have already uh, started them somewhere but they will be having a different reference altogether in this microprocessor okay so like these are very simple to understand i will be trying my best to make you understand in a best possible way all right so op code you can see from here it is again a two word combined op stands for operational and cod stands for code so whatever the operational code which is going which is taking place operational code fine that will be covered the op code part fine now operand comes the part on which op code will be operating so op code will be operating on what op code will be operating on operand and what is operand operand is simply data so always keep in mind these two things that if i give you in more detail an instruction comprises of two things an op code and an operand this is how you can understand in a better way an instruction comprises of two things one is called op code and other it will be operand sometimes operand can be hidden also sometimes operand can be hidden also fine but not always sometimes they are visible also so there are two type of operands you will be having visible operand and the hidden operand right but of course they will be of always always visible they will not be hidden because this is what we want to see and read that what operation is getting uh, exe will be executed in the code okay so these two things let's take an example i'm taking an example from an earlier processor so just look at this instruction all right uh, is it clear this is from an uh, earlier processor then i'll uh, the next instruction will be from 8086 fine so what we have here is mvi mvi is somehow related to movement and i stands for immediate that means a quick operation fata fata wala jo hota hai okay a stands for your accumulator a stands for accumulator so in all together what is going to happen here is see this part is related with movement this part tells us that this is a quick operation immediate operation this is where the destination is this is the destination fine and this is your how do you people call it your operand which is visible here the data fine so if 
particularly we can see this part is my operand 35 bit which is visible that this is the data we are going to operate with then rest of the information will be your op code and this particular will be an instruction but this is the case when your operand is visible in the instruction this 35 h is the data fine and what is going to happen in this operation is let me tell you mvia comma 35 h so what is going to happen is in this case move immediately 35 inside accumulator this is the operation of this instruction so what is going to happen what is going to operate is op code is going to operate where it is going to operate is inside accumulator so after execution of this instruction accumulator will be having 35 h now this h in the end of any data this particular h represents the number system on which the current microprocessor is visible to work fine this means that current microprocessor is running on a calculation or a base where the base value is 16 okay o laga hoga so that means octa that means base is 8 okay so that thing you need to keep in mind after any number or any data you have to mention which number system it belongs to otherwise it will create a huge difference we are not putting anything it is simply a binary number which is altogether a different thing you can understand 35 h and 35 which they will be different they both will be different strategy fine now let us take one more example move c comma b all right so this is an instruction move c comma b okay so the arrow will always be same something like this this is your source and this is the destination so in this case move means movement movement of data data where the data is inside register b this is your source and where it will be going c so the destination will be your register c so now tell me what will be operand here what is operand here anyone in the previous case operand was 35 h it was visible but in this case tell me what is the operand C. hidden no 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 the operand dekho instruction ko samjho op code will operate on operand okay move c comma b ka matlab hai the contents of b will be loaded into the register c the source is register b destination is register c all right so what is getting moved b to c fine so register b will be acting your operand but actual uh, whenever somebody is asking you what is the operand here what you will be writing is the contents of register b not register b the contents of register b are acting like operand in this case this is what you will be writing so now you can see by yourself there are two cases of operand where the operand is visible and where the operand is hidden where the operand is visible and where the operand is hidden is that clear somebody is still confused you can ask me quick quick all clear is there any problem here okay then if uh, nobody has any problem with that let's come to the next topic 
So, in the next uh, topic, what I'll be talking is the biggest uh, improvement in the 8086 microprocessor, the biggest change in the architecture of 8086 architecture. That thing is called memory segmentation. Till that, when uh, in 1978, when microprocessor 8086 was launched in the market, before that, this concept was not tested in any of the processor. Although many of them proposed that it can happen, but uh, the team of Ted Hoff, they were the ones who actually tested it in an integrated circuit in an IC. So what they created, so if I give you a previous picture, what was happening in the previous processors, they were simply having a page memory. Do you guys understand page memory? Something like this. This is the total memory of any processor. Fine, in the form of a page like this. Whatever you write in a coding part, it gets stored like this. Output, input, something like this. It goes like this. It gets stored. like this this is what we say like like this but what they did the new thing what they did in 8086 microprocessor is inside this page they created segments So this is what it looks like the memory of the 8086 microprocessor. Fine. So what we have here is segment 1, segment 2, segment 3 and segment 4. So ideally there are more than 4 segments. There are actually more than 4 segments. Fine. But what 4 segments which are available for the programmer are only 4. Fine. Namely, the names of these segments are, let's start with the first one, DS. DS stands for the data segment. Fine. CS. CS stands for code segment. SS. SS stands for stack segment. And ES stands for extra segment. This is how the memory is uh, designed in this 8086 microprocessor. Fine. Now what these segments will do, how they will affect the operation. And there are many things associated with this. Fine. So what could be the possible advantages we are having? So for that, you need to understand few things. Fine. All right. So first, understand the concepts of the various segments. So in these four segments, they are already highlighting this particular segment will deal with all the opcodes. Sorry, not opcodes, operands. All the operands. They will be stored in this segment, all the operands. All right. Next, all the opcodes or the codes in the segment will be stored in the code segment, the code part of the instructions. Fine. So whenever we are dealing with the stack, I guess we all know about the stack. Whenever we are dealing with the stack, there are exchange of addresses. Fine. So whatever the address is, they can exchange uh, many operations of the stack. So what, whenever we are dealing with the stack operations, this is where the operations of the stack will be dealt and outside of these data code is and stack is there anything which is left in the operational like interrupt 
input output and uh, your dma operations there are many things like this they all the all of these operations will take place in the extra segment fine so what benefit are we getting here fine if we com uh, compare it with the page memory fine this is how the page memory is which is not having any kind of segment all right not uh, anyone please uh, tell me what benefit are you guys looking here suppose this is how my program has been stored in this page memory what benefit are you guys watching in here this is a normal memory and this is the segmented memory of 8086 what difference are you guys noticing in this come on anyone think logically just think logically everything is crystal clear you already know the answer you can see you just need to understand something is this segmentation giving us any kind of advantage sir decoding uh, how easy to understand and how you are saying this thing uh, my concept is only just digging up in your brain how you are understanding this stuff that this is easy to understand the segmentation is giving you more clarity in uh, in comparison to uh, normal memory how how what thing is coming in your mind easy to access is it what access easy to i'm not getting the last point is it to access the data explore access access the data access the data is it uh, like uh, easy to access the data all right all right okay okay uh, let me write down data access is easy how it is easy so you don't have to load all the data yeah, yeah please please uh, bolo bolo so data categorize ho jata sorry still there is a clutter in your voice डेटा क्या हो जाता है यस 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 दिस इज द वर्ड दैट आई वाज लुकिंग फॉर इट्स नॉट अबाउट डेटा ओनली एवरीथिंग इज कैटेगराइज व्हिच वाज नॉट अवेलेबल इन दिस फाइन इट इज मोर कैटेगराइज इट इज मोर क्लियर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ मेमोरी इफ i am looking for a program i am trying to trouble shoot or i am to i'm trying to debug any program in a normal memory अगर मैं नॉर्मल मेमोरी में डिबगिंग करता हूं ठीक है सो आई हैव टू गो लाइन बाय लाइन टू एवरी कोड फाइन बट इन केस ऑफ एट एट जीरो एट सिक्स विल इट गिव एनी एडवांटेजेस एंड एनी एडवांटेज इन ट्रबल शूटिंग और डिबगिंग बिकॉज व्हाट वी नो फॉर कोड सेगमेंट द एरिया इज पर्टिकुलरली डिफाइंड इफ यू नीड टू पिक अप द कोड और वी नीड टू फेस द कोड इट विल बी अवेलेबल ओनली इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द एरिया पूरे मेमोरी को एक्सेस करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है बट इन पेज मेमोरी इट इज नॉट लाइक दिस वंस यू आर हियर ऑल ऑल ऑफ द पेजेस एक्टिवेटेड एंड इट इज कनेक्टेड बट यहां पे ऐसा नहीं है एवरी सेगमेंट वर्क्स इंडिविजुअली तो व्हाट इट गिव्स अस नाउ थिंक लॉजिकली व्हाट इट गिव्स अस अ पेज हैविंग फोर सेक्शंस एंड अ पेज हैविंग अ सिंगल सेक्शन now if i divide this page into four parts this normal memory into four parts and if i say in place of uh, remembering this full page i just want you to go through the contents written in this particular portion only so will that be easy to understand and grab कंपेरेटिवली सोचो पहले पहले आपको अपना असाइनमेंट मिलता है जब आपको पूरा पेज यहां से यहां तक करना है फाइन सेकेंड टाइम आई से नो नो लेट्स डिवाइड द टास्क इन फोर पार्ट अब क्या है जो ग्रुप का पहला मेंबर है वो ये करेगा 
सेकेंड मेंबर ये करेगा थर्ड मेंबर ये और फोर्थ मेंबर ये करेगा डिवाइड द टास्क इन फोर पार्ट्स और हर बंदे का काम अलग है नंबर वन विल डील विद कोडा सॉरी कोड नंबर टू विल डील विद द डेटा व्हिच इज ऑफ प्रिंट नंबर थ्री विल डील विद द स्टैक एंड फोर विल डील विद द एक्स्ट्रा सिग्नल्स सो एवरी सेगमेंट विल हैव इट्स ओन जॉब प्री डिफाइंड बट पहले क्या था इन द प्रीवियस नॉर्मल पेज मेमोरी यू हैव एन इंस्ट्रक्शन रिटर्न ऑलरेडी मूव ए कॉमा बी वो प्लेन लिखा हुआ है पूरी मेमोरी में स्टोर है वो बट इन केस ऑफ एट जीरो ऐसा नहीं होगा सो वट एवर द डेटा डेटा इज नॉट विजिबल इन दिस केस लेट से एम वी आई ए कॉमा थर्टी फाइव एच जो हमने पहले पढ़ा था डेटा इज हियर सो एम वी आई ए दिस इज वॉट दिस इज योर ऑप कोड थर्टी फाइव इज वॉट इट्स योर ऑपरेंट द डेटा ऑन विच इट इज गेटिंग ऑपरेटेड तो डेटा कहाँ जाएगा डेटा सेगमेंट में कोड्स कहाँ जाएंगे कोड सेगमेंट में फाइन सो दैट विल बी प्रॉपरली कैटेगराइज अब स्टैक का कुछ ऑपरेशन आप डील करते हो तो वो स्टैक वाला यहाँ पे जाएगा एक्स्ट्रा की कोई डील होती है दैट विल बी स्टोर सेपरेटली इट विल नॉट बी लाइक इन अ सिंगल प्रोग्राम यू विल बी राइटिंग इन योर नोटबुक इन योर नोटबुक ऑन योर कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन एवरीथिंग विल बी लाइक ए सिंगल प्रोग्राम वहाँ पे तो ऐसे ही लगेगा जैसे आपने इकट्ठा लिखा है फाइन बट वेन इट इज गोइंग टू बी स्टोर इन द मेमरी that particular thing will be categorically categorically stored in the memory data part sirf data mein jayega code code mein jayega stack stack mein jayega extra extra mein jayega okay so there are many advantages of this and you will be having a question that what are the advantages of maybe segmentation in 8086 you can write so many advantages fine so someone uh, started with answering me that data access will be easy definitely not even the data access even the access of codes are easy why it is easy because they are particularly allocated in a one single segment aapko pure instruction mein ye nahi dhoondna hai ki kaun sa part data hai kaun sa part code hai so everything starts from the code segment then code tells you where the next instruction it is either is it either it is a next code or is it a data or is it something will stack or is it something with extra so everything starts from this code segment so everything is getting simple and connected fine other advantage it, it is having is at a time only one segment of the memory is getting active not the whole memory so this is what this is saving the amount of current less amount of heat more stable memory more faster operation fine because what it is happening the power will only running on to the those segments which are getting executed baki mein power flow nahi karega this is what we want for a circuit which is actually uh, uh, developed or fabricated on the semiconductor semiconductor which is the enemy of the heat all right so likewise you can address a number of advantages of this 8086 memory segmentation fine now one thing we need to understand because that thing will be troubling you a lot of times because uh, this is what i have noticed in my experience how it will be troubling you in your architecture you will find few registers i'm telling you in advance in the architecture part or the block diagram you will find few registers i'm saying registers whose names are ds cs ss and es ds stands for what data segment code segment definitely they are related to the memory stack and this is extra segment but everything has a register word common written to it register 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 data segment register code segment register stack segment register extra segment register they are the only registers they are not the full segment no it is not the full segment then what they are 
what they simply provides us they provides us all these registers which are in the architecture these registers provides us the starting location of the particular segment they provides us starting location of the particular segment all right so what i mean to say like this ds part data segment let me erase it a little okay so this is the data segment part we know this is the data segment section segment but this is also in the form of registers it is also in the form of registers and these registers will be having a number of fine but this is the single register ds so what ds will be giving us the data segment register will be giving us all of you please note down this thing in your bold or highlighted manner that this location this particular memory location from where or the starting location of the segment from where this particular data segment is starting uska pehla memory address kya hai that address will be provided by data segment which is uh, register which are already available inside the architecture of 8086 keep in mind this thing जो आर्किटेक्चर में होंगे वो रजिस्टर्स होंगे जो मेमोरी में होंगे वो सेगमेंट्स होंगे ठीक है ऑल दो यू मे राइट देम डी एस डी एस डी एस डी एस 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 सी एस सेम बट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड रजिस्टर्स ओनली सिंगल मेमोरी एड्रेस लोकेशन एंड व्हिच इज द स्टार्टिंग लोकेशन ओके सो एवरी रजिस्टर लेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस कोड सेगमेंट सी एस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम Two triple zero. Fine. So this is the value memory address from where the code segment is getting started. So what will be the value of code segment register? The code segment register will be holding this particular value from where the code segment is starting. Likewise, everywhere in every register, every register of the respective segment. will be holding its starting value like for example one more example es extra segment the first location is let's say 4000 so es register extra segment register right now will be holding a value of 4000 because they tells from where the segment is getting started all right understood the differentiation between the segments in the memory and the registers which are available in the architecture is that clear everyone yes sir tell me is that clear if there is any doubt you can ask me right here if there is anything you want to ask anything so i believe uh, this topic must have cleared few things for you and let let's have a revision of this that how microprocessors actually work fine so i give you three words in this class how we correlate with this is read understand and perform this is how we people operate the human being fine so next is uh, if we correlate it with the microprocessors operation the first is fetch decode and then execute read understand and then perform correlation fetch decode and execute Right. The difference between read and fetch is the read is only a control signal, which is a desired operation by the processor. All right, but fetch is more than something reading. 
it is always related or it comes it is associated with an address always fetching from fine so even somebody ask you if they say read from so if read from read is provided with an address that signal can simply uh, transform itself into a fetch wo ek fetch signal ban jata hai agar read ke sath aap address de do Re start reading from page number 1 line number 1 then it is reading with a vector with a uh, memory address that it is actually a fetching operation fine so next is the programming stuff every instruction is having two things in this it is x assembly language one is called opcode opcode deals with the operational code which tells you the actual command the actual operation somebody is going to do or processor wants to execute fine right? next is operand operand means the data which is going to be operated by the opcode opcode will operate on the data fine right? operands can be visible or they can also be hidden fine right? so i give you few examples of uh, hidden as well as visible operand mva a comma 35h is the visible operand and a move a a move c comma b is where hidden operand was adding an h after any numeric quantity tells us that this number belongs to hexadecimal number system so that means 35 is having a base 16 this is not a binary number or any other number it's a particularly a hexadecimal number next we talked about the memory segments so in microprocessor although there are many segments there are all together in total we are having in total we are having 16 segments but out of those 16 segments those who are available to us are only four segment 1 2 and 3 4 which are data se uh, code segment data segment stack segment and extra segment they are available for us so that we can do the programming or whatever the program we are loading inside the machine uh, having a microprocessor they will be cate categorically stored according to the type of the information it possesses if it is stack type it will be stored in the stack if it is data if it is uh, data will be stored in the data segment the code will be co stored in the code segment fine so this is uh, how it deals with the architecture has the registers which are mentioned by the levels of these segments but they are the registers and what these registers will be giving us they will be giving us the starting value of the segments from where they are going to be started fine so the, because there will be a memory address of everything from where it starts